So I wanted to ask you, um, what is an advocate? What's your role? What is an advocate? That's such an important and good question. And an advocate is really someone whose job it is to believe and support survivors of all different types of sexual violence, regardless of at what age they experienced that sexual violence at, and regardless of how long ago it happened. Um, an advocate's role is to really meet survivors and families where they're at. It's, um, it's not to make assumptions about what people want or how people feel or what people need. It's really to be that presence who's informed about the issues of sexual violence, who's informed about uh, systems and choices and options, and to really sit with survivors and families and let them know what their choices and options are and just talk with them about how they feel and what they're looking for and what they feel their needs are at this moment. So we, um, we work with, you know, so many different types of individuals and support people of all genders and um, all, all different walks of life. Advocates need to know how to really listen to people. So yeah, it's about not making any assumptions and, and just providing really within the scope of our role, what people are looking for. It's so important to know that advocates are not counselors or therapists. Um, if an advocate holds that kind of a, a license or has that educational background, they really can't be using it in their role as an advocate because we're not providing counseling. Yeah. We're not providing therapy services. We're really meeting people where they're at, listening to them, believing them 100%, yeah. not asking um, questions about um, why something happened or, or the way in which the survivor was acting when it happened. Um, we believe that survivors are never to blame for the sexual violence they experienced, regardless of the situation around it. Um, <clears throat> and so we just try so hard to make sure that they know all those things. And then we, we, we be quiet and we listen yeah. and, and hear um, what that individual wants to tell us and what a survivor is looking for from advocacy services, what a survivor is looking for in their healing process, and um, what they're looking for for resources and options is absolutely different for every single person. So we need to really center ourselves, meet the person where they're at, not make any uh, assumptions or judgments <laughs> yeah. about what they're needing and and just listen to them. And then based on what we hear, then we can talk with them about options and resources and provide that emotional support that um, people need and deserve after a traumatic event.